Arlene here. Welcome back to my country craft corner in my car for a little while today. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I hope all is well with everyone. It is a hot day here in Virginia. It's 83 and it's still in the morning here. So I feel sure we'll be climbing up into the 90s with about 100% humidity. Typical stuff here in Virginia in the summertime. So, I'm heading out today to go get me some bins before I start working in my house and before I start deconstructing anything else. I need to have a place to put my stuff that I'm taking down. I just can't have it sitting around and I don't want to smush it. I just had those two bins. That's all I had. Because I, I used to have extra ones, but because I did a lot of like Easter decor and then I added some more stuff, I've used up all my empty bins. So I looked up online and Home Depot has some, I think they're 27 gallon, those black ones with the yellow lids. They have some of those on sale. So I'm going to stop there. <clears throat> Excuse me, give me about four of those because I want to stock up. I don't think I'll need four more in addition to the two that I already have, but I do want to stock up on them and so that I have them at the house so I don't have to run out and get more. Uh, so I thought I'd stop there and get about four of those and then I'm going to head to Michael's. And I'm walking through there, you know, my living room yesterday as I'm showing you guys the, uh, you know, the first episode, episode one. This will be episode two. I'm not sure what all is going to be in this one other than this car chat and I'm not sure what else, but I am heading back to Michael's. I got a coupon on my, <clears throat> excuse me, as a text message this morning and I get 25% off the entire purchase. Now they have their fall stuff. Some of it is 30% off and some of the florals at least last week, I don't know where they are this week, were 40% off. So I'm going to go look, just look, to see if I, they, because I cleaned them out of those green pumpkins the other day. I really and truly did. I cleaned them out, uh, what they had left in their troughs. I think that those are pretty popular, to be honest. So I'm going to go see if they have any more. And as I, as I said, as I was walking through my living room and dining room, and I looked at my, the back of my front door there, I do not have a fall, soft, pretty wreath to uh, put on that door for fall. So <clears throat> I thought I might do a grapevine wreath. Not as uh, an, an oval one maybe if I can find the grapevine frame in an oval. Uh, not like the one <laughs> not as big as the one that I made for what's going to be my front door wreath. Remember that thing? I'll put a little uh, card up there if y'all want to go take a look at that. Huge what turned out to be a beautiful, I don't want to say that because I made it, but it really turned out pretty. I was very pleased with how that turned out, but it is huge, too huge to put in my house. So it's going to be the front door wreath uh, for fall. So if I can find any materials and if I can't, I'm not going to, you know, worry about it because I know if they don't have them, if they're out of the materials then they're out and I don't have to wait. Uh, and the and the wreath that's on the back of the door is is fine. It would be fine through the fall. It's got a birdhouse. We all saw it yesterday. So, <clears throat> but I thought I would at least go look since I have the coupon. For goodness sakes, you know, if I can get the coupon on top of the forty percent off already, hello, you know that I'm not gonna balk at that. So that's what I'm doing. I think I'm, I would like to do my mantle and fireplace today. I'm not sure I'll get the fireplace done, but maybe the mantle at the, you know, toward the end of this video. That would be nice if I could at least just get the, the mantle done. Looking forward to putting that big spray up again or big garland up again. That thing is so pretty from Grandin Road. Uh, and I'll give you a link if they have it, I'm not sure. I'll give you a link to Grandin Road, and then maybe you all could go in there and look to see uh, what kind of fall decor they have. They've got some beautiful stuff in there, and I'm going to warn you right straight up front, it is pricey. So, uh, it's I had a coupon 
I, again, when we first moved into our house, I got a lot of coupons. Uh, I felt very fortunate that I got a lot of like, you know, 40% off your entire purchase, 20% off your entire purchase, those kinds of coupons. And I believe I had one like that. And I bought the Grandin Road uh, garland and then I bought candle rings to, to match it. So uh, that's what I'll be doing my mantle in. Uh, and I don't know what else, you know, other stuff. <laughs> anyway, I'm pulling in here to Home Depot, so I'm going to let you guys go here in the car so I have time in the video to do other things. I just wanted to pop in and say hi and start episode two in my 2017 fall decor series. Yay! I'm excited. But I got to get my house deconstructed first. It's driving me crazy. I just need to buckle down and get the rest of it done. <laughs> uh, and then I can really start the fun stuff with decorating and if I get stuff for this wreath, making this wreath and that kind of thing. So anyway, I'll let you guys go and I'll be back in a little while. Bye. Hey y'all, Arlen back here at my house. And I do have a haul for you in just a second from Michael's. I stopped it at Michael's. Uh, but I got a, a call from a dear friend of mine and I met her for lunch So I didn't get a lot done in my house today Which is absolutely just fine with me to be honest with you because it's always good to reconnect with old friends And we had a lovely time at lunch So I did manage to stop into Michael's because I had a coupon for 20% off of the entire purchase that I did buy some stuff So I will show you that in a minute but I wanted to show you that Chris and I just went downstairs and retrieved just the uh, leafy stuff that we want for, that I wanted for the mantle. Now I will add a few more things to this and I will show you as we go on. But I wanted to show you this and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the candles while I'm here. And I wanted to explain a few things to you and after I'm done explaining then I'll take the camera over and above this and show you the inner workings of how we did it. But one major thing that we used <laughs> was an old coat hanger. Chris bent up an old coat, coat hanger and made hooks. And then the hooks, we put a command strip on the mantle like this that has a little, can you see that hook to it? And then we hook the hanger up over the command strip and that is how and of course the command strip is you know on the top of the mantle and that is how this is held on <laughs> it is you know nothing special but we do have them in several places on here to give because this is pretty heavy this is you know not a lightweight uh kind of a garland so I think we have one here on the corner, and then he's got one right there under the, the clock, one there, one there, and one on this end. So, you know, there are quite a few of them holding this up. We, want, we don't want it to fall. <laughs> so, we've also lifted up some, the houses are lifted up on blocks, as is the clock, and these two little willow tree figurines. They're also lifted up a little higher so that you can see them. So, you know, just little hints, little tips and tricks, if you will, to how, as to how I do my mantle. You know, you wanna be able to see everything. I don't like it to be real, real, real crowded. Of course, I have a lot on there, but I like my favorite things are Dickens houses, willow tree figurines, and candles. I love the silicone candles. And of course, I've got a brown corded white light set. I think of either 20 or 30 lights. I can't remember. It's from last year running through this. I also, these were the uh, bows from last year. These were, I, I made a bunch of these bows. I did not make these today, but I am sure I will have the opportunity to show you how I made these bows <laughs> coming up. But these bows were still attached. You all saw it yesterday in episode one, how we had it, you know, kind of laid out there. And we did not box this up or anything. We just put it away as is. And we brought it right back up here as it was and put it right back up. The lights worked 
thank goodness. And uh, so this is it. I got this garland from Brandon Road. And if they so have it, I'll give you a link. And as I said in the car, I will give you a link to the whole site. And y'all can probably do a search to see what kind of fall decor they have for this year. Honest to goodness, you guys, it's beautiful. And it is pricey, I will say. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get some candles out. I also bought five candle rings. So I'm going to go ahead and get four of them out here and go ahead and put them up. So y'all can watch me do that. And other than that, I really don't have a lot of <laughs> other decor up here to work with. But I do want to go and do that uh, haul for you guys. So I'll be right back. I have my candles right over here. I'll be right back. I purchased these last year well, and again, they, they are nine inch candles and I like them to be nice and tall on here because this is a big fireplace. It makes a big statement in the room and we're coming into the holidays and I like to make a big statement in the holidays. So big old nine inch candles up here. And of course I try to make them match a little bit you know. Also, the hi, buddy. Sam just came back in, came inside, and he's standing here staring at me. Also, the candle rings from Grandin Road are really big, and if I had a shorter candle on these, that would probably swallow them up. So here are the candle rings. And they match the garland. So, let's see. If I can reach this. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> and I'm tall, you guys. <laughs> there we go. Pretty. Well, this is giving me a little bit of a hard time. The candle ring is a little bigger than the candle. So therefore, it's not one to remember. And this one doesn't want to. Let's try again. There we go. Get out of that light bulb. There we go. You can see the light through there. Alrighty. Thinking that looks pretty good. So far, so good. And I don't have one other thing up here to go on this right now. If I remember right, I had a pumpkin sitting there and one on the other side. But I will revisit this with you guys and we'll finish it up. But I just wanted to get started on this today and show you guys uh, what I do with my mantle. Let me take this down. and give you a closer look now at what I did. Excuse any dust if you see. There you can see the blocks at the Dickens house and the little lady, little willow tree figurine and the clock are sitting up on. And then let me see if you can see the, you really, really can't see where the, there it is, there's one. And he has a tie wrap wrapped around the, the stem and it kept wanting to tilt forward 
So he, Chris did something to make it stand up a little better. But that's it for now, you guys. That's all the decorating I'm going to do today. I am going to come over here and go through this haul for you guys. But I wanted to be sure to show you the mantle in the beginning stage. Okie dokie everybody, here I am back at my kitchen island and I'm fixing to go through this haul that I picked up at Michael's today. So, not a lot of decorating happening today and I didn't put a lot away today, but I am really excited about what I found at Michael's and so I can't wait to show it to you. As you all know, I vowed that I would not be buying anything else and I swore that I wouldn't until I woke up this well until I walked by the back of the front door yesterday and realized that I had never made a fall wreath in the pretty light and airy colors uh, for that back of that door and I always keep a wreath on that door all year round just to fill up the foyer a little bit because I don't have any tables or anything sitting on either side of the chair so I did want to make a wreath for on the door and I woke up this morning and got a text from Michaels with a 20% off coupon for the entire purchase. I was like, well, it's an omen. I just, I, I have to go to Michaels now. I really didn't have to, but I decided I was going to. So off to lunch with my friend. I went and I did go to Michael's and I did stop by Home Depot and pick up some bins. So I do have my bins so now I can really finish putting stuff away. Anyway, let's get on with this haul. I've decided I'm going to make a grapevine wreath. So I picked myself up a grapevine form and this is not nearly as large as the uh, one I made for my front door on the other side of the front door. Uh, this is about, I wouldn't say half the size of it, but it is a bit smaller than that one, I think. We'll see when I'm done. Uh, and it is in an oval shape. I really enjoy the oval-shaped grapevines, probably because I make so many burlap wreaths, and they're all round, you know. And I really do enjoy having a little something different. And I think that the oval lends itself to be a little bit different than the round. So I did get myself a grapevine form. And you know, as grapevines go, they're never perfect. But once I get everything on it, it should be okay. It should work out okay. So, and then when I got home, of course, I've been thinking about this wreath. When I got home, I went and looked uh, out in my coffers in the garage. And I found a pit bear garland that I want to excuse me, layer on first onto this wreath. And it is, as you see, that green color and cream. And I think it's gonna look really pretty intertwined with everything else you'll, that I'm fixing to show you here. And I got my Pitberry Garland from thepitberrybarn.com. I highly recommend thepipberrybarn.com. It's P-I-P, -P, Pip Berry, B-E-R-R-Y, two separate words, pipberrybarn.com. Uh, they have beautiful garlands, and they have really pretty mixed berry garlands, and they have garlands that have like uh, rusty stars and different things on them. And they put things on sale. I got this on sale. I think I got paid $11.99 for this, which is pretty good for a, it's, I think this is a five-foot garland. And that's a pretty good price for this. So if you do go on there and go, oh my gosh, these are really expensive. And some of them are, I will warn you. But if you watch it, they do put things on sale good bet. So pit berries are gonna go on this wreath. And then they didn't have, if y'all remember the pumpkin garland I got to go on the big hutch out in the dining room. And then I'm gonna cut the other one in half and put half on the uh, secretary and half on my grandmother's hutch. Well. I bought the last two of those the other day. I guess they did not replenish that. So I did go ahead and pick up this, just this leafy garland. It was right beside where the pumpkins were hanging. And so I thought this was really pretty and I thought this will blend nicely with those pit bear garlands. It has a little bit of cream, cream flowers on it. So I thought this would be really pretty with that. So now keep in mind, again, I'm going to be working with the light greens and grays and khakis, and 
and all of those pretty colors that I have out there, light and airy and soft, very soft colors. Look at that pumpkin. It is green. I don't know whether it's telescoping green in there, but it is green, but it's a gray green, most definitely a gray green. And y'all remember the uh, ribbon I got from AC Moore a few weeks back? Check it out. There goes my memory for color again, you guys. I've been blessed with a good memory for color when I'm out shopping. And I just think, so I'm gonna make a funky bow. So this is gonna be, uh, wait a minute, let me back up a second. I decided I'm not gonna put a sign on this wreath because, you know, or any kind of words or anything like that. I just couldn't find anything that blended well. So I think I'm just gonna do a funky bow, probably for the top and have some, you know, maybe some longer tails coming down. And then I'm going to put this kind of in the middle on the bottom and surround it with, and I'll show you in a minute. But I'm going to make a funky bow, I think, out of these three ribbons. And, you know, I wouldn't say, other than the pumpkins, these two, you know, are not necessarily fall, you know, but won't they blend beautifully with this? So I think they're gonna be pretty. And I really don't want like a pop of that green gray out there. I just, I want three different textures, you know, same colors, but different uh, designs on the ribbon. I think it's gonna be make, make a really pretty funky bow. So I did pull those out. And what I got to go with this I thought I would put this in the middle and then flank it with two. These are cream pumpkins. This pumpkin was 40% off of $14.99 and then 20 more percent off. And then these little cream ones were $6. Same thing. So I thought, you know, the big pumpkin and then the, uh, the, uh, cream ones on either side. And then I picked up, oh goodness, come here, three tufts of these flowers. And there's a lot on here and I won't put them on the wreath like that. Of course, I will cut them apart and glue them on and you know, make a pretty design around the pumpkins. So I'll glue the pumpkins on first and then I'll glue these in and around the pumpkins. So I think that is gonna make a very pretty simple, it's not gonna be a difficult wreath to make. I think it'll make a pretty simple wreath. I just have to make sure I do not burn myself. <laughs> I got my silicone stuff that I'm gonna use for my fingers and protect myself. But I think this is gonna be a really pretty wreath. Really, 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 really pretty wreath. So I will be doing that in the coming, you know, in this series, obviously. And I got a couple more things that I wanted to show you. And when I was, I did go looking for a sign for this wreath and I found this and I, I don't like how it looks with the, it's not in the same, it's not even the same feel. So, but I'm sure I will use it. It was $11.99, 40% off of that. So I'm sure I'll find a place for it around here. But I thought it was cute. There's always something to be thankful for, but I could not find a sign that would go with this stuff. So I'm just gonna, we're not gonna have a sign. But that's pretty. And then one more thing. <laughs> now a lot of you have been asking me, I don't know whether you can see that wreath behind me there with that big old owl on it. And I've been, a lot of, had a lot of questions about, where'd you get that owl? And I got that last year at Kirkland's, you guys. Well, hidden on a bottom shelf in at Michael's. For those of you who live locally, go in to Michael's, take a right, and it is on the bottom shelf of the first row all the way to the right bottom shelf. And with kind of the uh, other pumpkins and those trucks and things like that. But I found this fella. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's got plaid on the back and cool looking eyes, a burlap belly with some acorns and felt leaves on him. I just thought he was adorable. And he's got the, it's the same type of thing that I put on that wreath. It's got like the beanbag rear end. So I thought he was 
super cute, super, super cute. So I don't know, obviously this has not have anything to do with this wreath, <laughs> but I thought it was cute, so. All right, that does it for today, you guys. Little car chat, little, little bit of decorating over there on the mantle, and then this little haul that I'll do and get this wreath made. So, not sure what's on the agenda for the rest of the week. I guess I'll get no. something posted uh, when I get everything else put away. I need to do that first. I need to get everything else put away and deconstructed, and then I can really start decorating. So, but I do have a craft to do too. So, <laughs> just add to the queue there, right? Just add more to my repertoire, what I need to do. <laughs> Oh well, I love it. So, anyway, I hope you all have had a wonderful day and that all is well with all of you. And I will just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.